Hey everybody, Jack Boyles with Steam Engines USA. Hope you're all having a great day. We've got something very special right here. We're going to open it up and take a look. This came in today. And let's see. From Maine. It says fragile. It is a very large box. I love large boxes when it comes to steam engines because that means there's something really good inside of here. So we're going to open it up, take a look, let's see if we can use our handy dandy scissors to slice this open. And come across the top here. Be careful not to hit anything inside there. And careful not to stab myself either. That would be bad. So open it up, and oh yeah, look at that. There's foam and stuff everywhere. Let's set that out. It's a little packet on top. It's got good stuff in it. Some paper, and voila. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. This is, as you can see, a very nice well let's go d32 so we'll try to get some of this material packing material out of here and then lift this out and take a closer look at it so look at that nice Alright, so we're going to lift this thing out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, very nice. It's got a little tray right there to keep all the good stuff in. And uh, it gets a little weight. That little weight goes on the safety valve. So when the pressure builds up, that's enough to lift it up. Relieve the pressure inside. Whistle goes off. Got the chimney uh, attached. Uh, this engine, what I love about it is it came with uh, a lot of the original material. Uh, and you just don't get that very often. So let's push that back inside there. You have the original set of directions. And then over here we have a copy. Someone's photocopied made a photocopy of it for us. You have the operator's manual. Let's see here. And dated 2008. How cool is that? So we know this goes back to at least 2008. And you have a, another operating instructions for the whistle. Very old material the papers so have to be real careful with those fold them up there we go then you got one of these little bags fort lauderdale national bank how neat is that so the extra gaskets here and this little pulley I'm not sure it may be an extra one or somebody may have um, removed it. Looks like it's an extra one. It goes right, right here. So, got an extra pulley there in case we wanted to add something else on this line shaft. Uh, so, this is the largest Walesco steam engine that they make. Um, you can buy one of these today from Walesco. Uh, brand new, they're $27.95, basically $2,800 for a new one. The metal base here is silver. There's a, some color variations. Um, however, this one is an earlier model. Um, some of you Walesco folks, tell me in the comment section what year is this. 
I'm assuming it's going to be at least 19, uh, 2008 or earlier. Um, it does, let's see, have an old plug. I need to get one of those little cardboard fillers. It's got an on and off switch here. Uh, it is 110 volt, 1500 watt. And uh, just needs to be cleaned up. So right here you got a little pump. This looks like a little water pump. Up here are your control valves. And I'll just be honest with you, I've never run one of these. So I'm going to have to watch some videos and, and look at it. Um, all of this is in German, <laughs> so this valve here is going to control something, maybe the output. Uh, I know some of these have a generator, there's an oiler, so I guess you can control the oil going into it. One of them will be throttle valve throttle control which is probably this one and then the transmission this little lever right here you move it down and over it's on a spring and it's controlling the transmission back here so there it's disengaged it's just spinning freely all right so this I could spin and it's not engaging. Move the transmission over, it locks into place, and then as the flywheel turns, so does the transmission. It's got little oiler caps here and here. All of these have little oiler caps. There's three right there, two, three. So all of those would need to be oiled. And here's two more. One, two, one, two. So that's our oiling ports. Filling it up. Put water inside the boiler. Remove the cap. Put your funnel down in there. Fill it up. And you can see the calcium that's filled up. So you'd want to be about right there. This is a drain valve. So you open this up. And water would drain out, lower it. Looks like that's been bent up though. That should be, I'm not gonna mess with it though, but it should be bent down to just drain away. So, no, not a big deal. So all in all, really happy to get this engine. Uh, I picked it up, I got a really good deal on it. Uh, these typically sell for 1500 and up um, and like I said a brand new one of these is twenty seven twenty eight hundred dollars so uh, really nice engine uh, I'm gonna run it make a couple videos with it and then as always always if someone's interested in it you want to buy it from me um, pretty much everything I have is available for sale so let me know I could tell you for sure though, as nice as this one is, um, uh, I will, uh, it'd have to be a pretty good offer. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. So super nice engine. And we also had a Jensen box come in today. And let me pop that open. So voila, poof, and it opens. So this right here, as uh, many of you know, I am currently not really restoring, but I'm redoing a 1952 Jensen Model 50. And these are all the gaskets that I needed. So thank you, Jensen, Dorita, Andy, Aaliyah, John, all you guys at Jensen. Y'all do a fantastic job. I'm going to uh, put all new gaskets in my 1952 Model 50, and then I'll be posting some more videos of it. 
if you've been watching uh, the YouTube channel, you know that I uh, recently picked up that engine. It's a riveted Boiler 50. It's got a three-piece magnet and um, just a really nice steam engine. Uh, bought it from a really nice family, um, original owners, and uh, I've gone through it and given it kind of a what I would call like minim minimalist restoration, if you will. I've painted the firebox, cleaned the board, cleaned all the parts, polished uh, the engine, just a little bit of uh, really good cleaning work on everything, and. Um, it's going back together now so having that is super important so thank you guys thanks for watching uh in the comment section tell me what you think what do you think of this walesco d32 this is the equivalent of a jensen 50 for walesco so your walesco collectors out there this is the one everybody wants um and it's interestingly uh enough i will say that jensen brought back the the 50 in 2016 uh andy guy with uh, jensen manufacturing um several people collaborated with him and they were able to uh start building them again i think so far 24 have been built or in the process of being built and i know 18 or 20 of them have been sold around the world so this right here, Walesco brought it back right following, I think it was 2017 or shortly thereafter, they brought back their D32. So this was uh, one of the originals and it's not one of the new manufacturer versions. So really cool. So now with Steam Engines USA, we have the Crown Jewel Jensen Model 51. We have a 2016 Jensen 50, and we have a 1952 Jensen 50. And now, I guess the crown jewel of the Walescos, a D32. So, glad to have that part of the collection. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more videos to come. Have a great day. From High Point, North Carolina, Steam Engines USA.